Hi there, and welcome to Carl's Kitchen GT, the show. Today we are featuring the Auto Wife, and when I say the Auto Wife, it's actually a name of a restaurant. And um, her name is Shaliza, and she specializes mainly in curry dishes, local, authentic Guyanese curry dishes. So if you're in Guyana visiting, or you know, you just live in Guyana, you don't feel like cooking, um, you're visiting, your family is busy taking you around the place, and you really want some real nice, hot, spicy, good old Guyanese curry, check out the Auto Wife. She's in Sandy Bab Street Kitty. And um, what we're about to do is go into her kitchen and see her cooking some stuff. So today she's promising us um, egg, curry and when I say egg curry I mean fish egg curry um, we're doing some crab curry as well and some shrimp curry as well before we get into that just want to thank our sponsors Starling products with igloo ice cream and GTT we'll be right back what are you doing Ice cream, you know it's good. I'm going to show you today how to prepare fish egg curry. It's actually one of the big sellers here at the other wife. So first of all, you got to wash it, but we don't wash it with vinegar. We can wash it with some lime juice. We get all that lime juice up in there and then we're going to give it a wash out and prepare it for steaming. It's recommended that you steam the eggs. Fry a little bit of onion and oil. And we leave it to get that nice flavor. Give the oil a nice flavor for the onions, but get a little bit brown, you know? When you start smelling that nice little flavor, that's when you know that it's ready. And then basically this is what we call our curry paste. This is curry that is mixed that has 22 herbs and spices. That's why our curry is different from other people's curry. All of our curry is cooked with measurements. So we get the taste in there and now we start to put it all in this curry. And the next thing you want to get in there is the tomato. Tomato, tomato, however you want to say it, just throw the damn thing inside. The secret to a good curry is allowing the masala to put out properly. And now, of course, we can tell you the 22 herbs and spices we got in our curry sauce, like SpongeBob. It's a secret hidden straight down at the bottom of the sea, okay? A little bit of water in here. You can see that the kitchen does get a little bit of water in here. All right? Give it that time to cook properly because we need um, everything almost to be cooked by the time we put in the fish eggs. We have to. Now throw in the mango. This mango is a little bit ripe today, but that's what we got at the market. Um, it's a little bit ripe. So now we throw this in to start cooking with the curry. Nice and easy, nice and easy. We're not going to sauce it yet. We wait until we have the fish egg in. And that's when we add our little sauce. And again, if it's getting dry, you know, then treat it for a little bit of water. And then we add the fish egg to it. Give it a nice little stir there so that the eggs can start cooking. All right, so there's only two other things that we need to add here. Well, no, we need to add something else. Let me show you. All right, so we, we always use a little bit of tambran in our curries, just a little bit. It gives it that tang. This is like four different all-purpose seasoning mixed together. We, we like uh, the different um, flavors. So we're just gonna do a, a sprinkle of this to cover the top of the curry. We're gonna do one level teaspoon of salt and we're gonna get that in there, all right? So we're gonna give that a two minutes on slow heat. So basically we're ready to put some gravy in here. So we're gonna do some water and then we're going to throw a slight coconut milk nothing too big and bad right so this is simmering all right that's about finished but one of the last things we actually do we add the green peppers in all right 
Y'all try green peppers in your curry, and then you'll tell me about the difference. The green pepper is what adds the amazing flavor to the curry. So basically, we get a little shallot on top there so that you can have that fresh sort of look, okay? And that's it. That's it for your fish egg curry. We put in our curry mix. And just now, the other wife will be having this curry mix available in supermarket so that you can go home and cook your own curry. Remember the secret to a good curry is the way you fry your masala. Don't burn your masala. So we're going to add the crab now. So this crab was not steamed or anything. We actually cook it from its raw state into the curry. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add the salt and the all purpose. So, what we're gonna do after we give this a good stir, we're gonna cover this down and we're gonna allow it to bunch out on a slow fire. Okay? Basically, ready to add some water to simmer the crab. So, we're gonna get some coconut milk in here as well. Now, this is the sweetness that boils into the crab. Now, in addition to this, the other wife also adds some belanchine, or we people know as eggplant, and some edos. So we add some of this to our curry to thicken the gravy. Because you know, when you're biting into that crab, you want to have something to suck on. All right? So we get that into the curry. And of course, definitely because of adding belanchine, you would have to taste the salt in it when it's finished but we're just gonna cover this and allow this to simmer we did a green pepper and a yellow pepper the flavor pepper and we add that to the crab curry It's here! Igloo Ice Cream Fruit Bars. Four mouth-watering flavors. Mango, pineapple, strawberry, and soursop. A beautiful combination of real fruit and igloo ice cream. Go old school with fluty popsicle. Classic flavors and refreshing goodness. Available at igloo outlets and all your favorite shops. So remember, if you're visiting Guyana and, you know, sometimes your family, I know usually people's families cook for them. But if your family's too busy, maybe you're, you're here for, for an event and your family is usually be taking you around the place as well. And you just want something real authentic, real Guyanese, check out the other wife. Um, ask for Shaliza, tell her I sent you. Um, she has two locations, Sandy Bath Street Kitty and Bagatstown up the East Bank as well and it's called Otter Wife. And you can get everything there from dal, rice, roti. Um, she puts shallows in her roti, like I said. Um, all the spicy curries you can possibly think about, even fish egg curry, crab curry. Um, she does some other stuff on the weekends, like um, chicken foot sauce and different types of other local dishes. So check her out, and I'm, I'm guaranteeing you, you won't regret it. So thank you again for watching, but before we go, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Sterling Products, with Igloo Ice Cream, Golden Cream Margarine, and Abbey Butter, and a whole bunch of other beautiful, wonderful Guyanese products that they make, and also DTT. Thank you.